Hello and welcome to the very first tutorial on the Anime Tech YouTube channel and um, be advised this is not going to be a tutorial channel on how to animate or make stuff in Blender and it's going to be more focused on the animations per se and in the creative process of making those animations but I got this question asked a lot in the comment sections of the videos um, this is the tutorial of how to do that but first of all you need to know something that's very important um, anything you import from the game from KSP into Blender is not free to share okay this is very important for you to understand because if you share anything any file containing those parts uh, you would be essentially committing piracy <laughs> because you would be sharing some proprietary stuff of the game camera space program with the community and that's completely illegal so make sure anything you import into ksp into blender sorry uh, is uh, meant for personal uses only okay another thing that got requested a lot in the comment sections of the videos was if i could share the models that are used in the, in the animations with you and unfortunately we for the same explanation than before, I cannot share them with you because, it, okay, these are different textures, okay? If you can see, they are very different. For, for example, um, on the left, you have these details here that they are not in the right model, but this some simil there are some similarities in all on top so there are parts of the original texture on the model that I use for the animation so I cannot share this model with you on the right because it has some textures of the game and that will be illegal so maybe later I can manage to uh, change those textures and make them available for the public but that's not something that I'm willing to do right now, okay? So let's jump right onto it. Uh, you need to go to this GitHub repository. This is the website of the add-on of Blender that we are going to use in order to be able to import the KSP parts into Blender. This is the, this add-on is called IO Object New and is made by Bill Curry. I believe, yeah, Bill Curry and goes, he goes by the username of Taniwa on GitHub. Give a quick read to the description here and when you are finished with that, go right up and click on this green button that says code and click on download zip. A new download will be created on your browser and when it's finished downloaded, you go to Blender and start with the clean scene. Let me just delete all of this real quick. Okay, first of all, you need to go to Edit, then Preferences. On the left, you click on Add-ons and then go to Install. From then, you need to navigate to the folder where you just downloaded the, the add-on and the add-on will be on the zip format. Click on the add-on and then go just below here on the right and click on Install Add-on. Blender will create uh, an item here, it's going to be grayed out, you need to activate the add-on. You activate it by clicking on this check mark here, checkbox. It's going to take one or two seconds because Blender does some checks under the hood. Okay, that's the add-on that's been activated. Um, this is very important, you need to go to these three lines on the left, click on them and then click on Save Preferences. This is going to be your changes per instant, so that you don't need to reactivate and reinstall the add-on every time you launch Blender. Now that you have the add-on installed, you need to go to File, sorry, File, Import, and there are going to be these two new options here. The this option that says KSP Craft lets you import a whole vessel into Blender. And this option here that says KSP Mu lets you import a single part into Blender. So we are going to import the pod, the Mark 1 3 pod. So just click on KSP Mu. And you need to navigate to your uh, Kerbal Space Program installation folder. 
I have both Kerberos Space Program on Steam, so I'm going to go to the Steam folder. Inside the Kerberos Space Program folder, you need to go to the Game Data folder. This is where you install all the, all the mods. Inside there, you need to go to the Squad folder, then to the Parts folder, and from then you need to go to the Command folder. There you will have the Mark 1 3 port, and inside that folder you will find the new file corresponding to the the port we are going to import. So click on there, and below on the right, click on Import New, and there you have it. Uh, an awfully black <laughs> command 1.3 port so of course we need to make some adjustments to this mesh um, <clears throat> this empties that you, uh, let me jo let me go to the solid view these empties that you're going to see here are helpers for the unity engine to work properly so we don't need them now so you can just leave them this mesh right here is just black go by flag. These empties you can delete as well. And you will notice also that there is a low polypod inside the high polypod. Let me just separate it real quick right here. And this is the collider that the Unity engine uses in order to calculate the collisions in game. So we're, we are not going to use it right now, so let's just delete it. So we have right now one mesh and correspond, corresponding to the Mark 1 3 port, uh, but there is some other adjustments, some final adjustments we need to do to the shader in order to blender to be able to render it properly. Because as we saw previously, if you go into the material preview, it's going to be completely black. And that's because this add-on makes a fantastic job importing the mesh into Blender, but it does not a good job importing the textures into Blender. So let's go to the shader editor, and you need to save these orange nodes. Those are the textures. You could save the UV map also and the material output. Everything in the middle, you just can delete it. Okay, so just delete that, then you create a principal BSDF shader, connect the output of this shader to the input surface of the material output, then you need to connect the color output of the main text into the input base color of the principal shader and the emissive texture into the color emission te texture of the principal shader. Now if you go into the viewport you can see that the pod has the correct texture and is rendered properly for you to use and create awesome art. So there you have it, how to import the Kerbal Space Program parts into Blender and how to work with them. So I wanted to mention that I'm going to make a Q&A video soon, so anything you want to know about the videos or the animations or the creative process of making those animations, you just can ask them in the comment sections of this video below. Follow me on my socials and I'm also letting you know that I made a coffee page. It's like a Patreon. And if you want and if you think I deserve it, you can just drop there a back or two and make my day a whole bunch better. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.